okay so we're going to very quickly apply our materials to the exhaust on the starboard side and we'll also apply a UVW map same as we did on the port side let's put it into our isolation mode that's alt Q on the keyboard press M for our material editor let's grab our exhaust material layer and apply it to our exhaust. Now we can close this down and then pop into our modifier list. Let's come on down and we want a UVW map. We're going to apply our box. Let's have a look at that length. Hmm. Width. Height. I just want to increase this a little bit. As you can see, whilst we're in fact, if we go gizmo. Uh, whilst we're increasing our gizmo for this area we're also adjusting the material that we're using right well let's go for our rotate tool which is E on our keyboard and let's see if we can get a better angle for that okay let's go for a quick render that doesn't look too bad okay so we'll accept that let's close this down and whilst that's there we're going to just come up here close it down at the root there and let's go right click convert to editable poly now we can exit our isolation mode there we go now let's have a quick render yep that doesn't look too bad okay well let's now close this down close that down okay well we are now about to enter the world of the unwrap UVW a world which is going to require a great deal of time patience and understanding a world into which many have ventured but very few have returned with their sanity intact. <laughs> no, I'm not one of them. I came out quite sane actually. Okay, unwrap UVWs. As you become more experienced with unwrapping UVW maps, you'll probably want to create those maps which incorporate all of your geometry and I'll explain how you can do that a little bit later on however we're gonna start off uh, reasonably small now you know that we have our aircraft our Messerschmitt um, divided up into different sections we have the fuselage the wing the undercarriage the tail section and the prop section well we're going to take it piece by piece so we'll look at the fuselage to begin with now in spite of the fact that the system which I do have is quite beefy as far as um, memory and everything else is concerned whilst I'm running Camtasia it does run quite slow so I want to reduce that as much as I can by hiding um, quite a bit of geometry I'm not going to put this into isolation mode because that just slows down the system even more. So let's first begin by popping up to our layers manager. I'm going to hide the tail section, the prop, the front wing, the cockpit, and in the fuselage, I'm going to hide everything but the fuselage itself. Now I'm going to pop into smooth highlights, head faces and I'm going to select wireframe. You don't have to do this this is just something I'm doing in order to overcome the problems I'm going to have with the system. Okay so let's start by selecting our fuselage. I'm now going to pop into our modifier list come down and I'm looking for unwrap UVW 
Now the system is thinking about this and having thought about it it's now produced these green lines and every one of these green lines is a seam which 3ds Max has determined towards unwrapping the geometry which forms our fuselage. Okay so let's now pop in to unwrap UVW. Okay well I'm not really going to bother with the selection parameters at the moment but I do want to pop down in fact let's open this up a little bit more the main thing to begin with is this here what we want to do is edit our UV settings UVW settings so let's select edit now as you can see let me just um, bring this up here a little bit so we can see everything okay it's presented us with all of this and when you first look at it you go what the hell is that how am I supposed to make any sense of it right well don't worry there are ways and means first of all what we're seeing here is vertices it's actually stating there it's on vertex now it's showing us um, how those vertices are more or less laid out but what we want to do here is get these to basically show as faces and we want those faces flattening so let's pop up to select and here we are going to convert vertex to face so let's start by clicking on that okay now it's converted them but it's not really doing anything well let's go up to mapping and now what I want to do is flatten all of this so let's flatten mapping it's given us a box here and it's telling us that the face angle threshold is 45 degrees spacing is 0 0.02 normalized clusters well we're going to keep that checked rotate clusters again we'll keep that checked and fill holes we're going to leave those as they are standard set so let's see OK now it's thinking about this still thinking now we have something what it's done is taken all of our geometry the seams that it created for us and it's flattened it out onto I would say the equivalent of a big sheet of paper let's zoom in and as we look around in fact let's open this up a little bit more as we look around we can begin to see things that look familiar this here is the side of our fuselage that there is our rear wing this looks like the underbelly of the fuselage so I'm just zooming out here now so it is all there but somehow we need to sort it out we need to arrange it so it makes a little bit more sense to us so what is it for well think of this as a jigsaw puzzle without the picture now that jigsaw puzzle at the moment is situated within the boundaries of this box here and this box is going to be converted into a JPEG file a file that can be imported into a software such as Photoshop 
and then we can actually paint on the surface of this which can then in turn be used as diffuse maps bump maps um, within 3ds max material editor it's all quite good it's very clever and you know quite fun really well we've got it this far and be mindful of the time I think we'll call that it for this session and I'll catch you later